were your original interactions with Donald Glover like? So, uh, <laughs> they, they told me that Donald wanted me for a, a project, it's okay, and he said, um, he wants me to watch this movie called The Piano Teacher. It's a French film. So I started to watch it, and I was like, oh, this is interesting. It's all in her eyes. And then it quickly took a masochistic turn, and I was like, oh, wow, I don't know why they want me to watch this, but I don't know if I'm that brave. Um, and so I had to kind of sit in a meeting with them and listen to the story, listen to, the, to what they wanted to do with Dre, and I said I want to do that, and then once I got the role, like, they gave it to me, then I was like, what did I do? Why did I say I want to do this again? So I had to journal as myself and identify anything that gave me pause and made me afraid and, and, and had to see if it was really my own feelings or if it was external, if it was societal. And if it was that, then I had to reevaluate and see if that would stop me from doing something that was different than what I've ever done before. I wanted to be brave. You and your sister were mentored by Beyonce. Yes. Did she give you any advice on how to deal with crazy fans? No. No. <laughs> she gives advice on, she only speaks highly of her fans and I, that's why I love our fans and our fandoms because we wouldn't be here without them. But she gives advice on everything else, but she always speaks highly of the Beehive, just like we do. I wouldn't be here without the Beehive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, have you had any interactions that uh, were questionable or awkward in terms of with fans? You know, I've only had really great experiences. Great. I I'm very protected and I always have my security with me so I haven't had anything scary happen by the grace of God and you know I I cannot wait to see my fans on tour to be honest with you because we get to connect face to face in person they get to feel my heart I get to feel theirs so I'm over the moon I'm so excited what is the most meaningful interaction that you've had with a fan you know I'm such a crier <laughs> but I think anytime somebody tells me that my music or something I've said made them believe in themselves when everything the world their family their friends told them they couldn't do something that means a lot to me because if I can make somebody feel better and make them want to fight and believe in themselves like it's been a struggle for me to do at times and I've done my job it, this is a more exaggerated way of explaining the story of a black female serial killer and it's different for us because you always see it being told through the lens of you know white men and white women and we never get the chance to and I'm just so proud of my girl Dawn because she did an incredible job. We I heard a comparison with Selena earlier. Was there inspiration or did you draw on anybody for the characters that, you know? Yeah for my character Marissa the inspiration I drew from was myself and and traumas I haven't healed from and it was healing acting it out yeah uh, was it therapeutic for you or was it kind of was it hard it was absolutely therapeutic I remember after one scene Dom and I shot we just were in the dark room crying for 30 minutes after we were finished filming because it shook us so heavy to the core and when you allow yourself to feel what you continue to bury inside it's very healing when you finally do let it out so Selena. Interesting. Is that something that you, did you consider that story when you were working on this? You know, I talk about Selena a lot. I remember I saw her at the rodeo right before she was assassinated, before she was killed. And I remember I was in seventh grade and I remember when she, when she died, like people being so, not believing it. I remember people storming her funeral, like demanding that the casket be open. I remember this very specifically when I was younger because everyone was saying it was a rumor, right? And, and like that was like the first kind of like my first intro to like fandom and rumors and and um, and just like the stakes that people take in order to like, you know, get to someone or destroy someone. So Selena is someone I think about a lot. I have a picture of her in my house. Um, I, I love her. I consider her one of, like, I, I consider her Texas, honestly, so. Yeah. Yeah. As you were putting this story together, um, as it was coming together to for you, what were some of the other things that you drew on as inspiration? And, well, you know, I created 
this with a multi-hyphenate artist himself who has his own swarm. So there's right. a lot of people that we were, that kind of drew, I drew inspiration from. A lot of crazy stories, a lot of things that have been read about. And so, I mean, it's just, there's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, in our room, we have a couple of rappers one of them's here with us, you know. So there's a lot of people who are just used to music, you know, that are, like, in the business of music and understand, who work with so many people, you know, so that's, it's a real thing.